Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle. <clears throat> okay, so um, I want to do some experiments with um, Kydex, but it's not actually Kydex, it's ABS because uh, I think it's got some properties that will lend itself to uh, different construction methods. Kydex okay, sheaths. Um, uh, which would actually produce a superior sheath to the traditionally um, sandwiched and riveted and bonded Kydex because Kydex doesn't actually glue as well as um, ABS does, it's a styrene, it's an incredibly uh, soluble in, um, in solvent, like more so than, than the uh, um, PVC based Kydex. Um, also, hot form is better. So, um, so yeah. Okay, so it's quite presentable on the front there, I think you'll agree, but on the back, I was, I was trying to roll it over. Um, it's not quite worked, but we're going to carry on with this one. This is just an experiment and, uh, and see what happens, how, how good a bond we can produce. Okay, so the original idea was to have the, the first piece um, form the edges over and then put cement on the top edge of a completely flat piece slide it in there and then shove the blade in behind it and it will stick upwards. Um, um, I, I know I can get this a lot neater but I've just, I just had another idea. So in the, uh, in the interest of experimentation, um, we're gonna shelve this one for now and zip this edge off along here. Zip! And make another one, but the reverse and then stick them together and put little plastic straps around them, see what happens. So I've just trimmed the edges off these, these two impressions that I made in the plastic. Um, we're gonna bond them together and then uh, put, a, put a strap around the back and do some destructive testing, figure out how strong this shit is. I'm just using um, <clears throat> flow plus, flow, flow plus, it's the PVC and ABS uh, plumbers pipe cement oh the dog's in here one of them is creeping up behind me yeah and it's got good gap filling properties uh, but it works best on ABS if you're using it on on PVC you're meant to use a primer but I never do when I'm doing pipe work anyway but I suppose if you're going to use it on Kydex you'd want a primer um, I'm getting it on the edges here I think if I was Doing anything other than an experiment, I'd have the have the edges masked up because this will this will definitely show on the edges. 
let's pop them together and see what happens. Come back in a few minutes. That's actually uh, quite a pleasing result. You know, obviously, uh, first attempt. Um, if I was going to make a number of these, I would fine tune it and get it a lot, uh, a lot slicker and a lot quicker and and uh, a lot neater as well. But you know, that's not entirely too shabby. The bond line is a bit ugly, and uh, but you can see there's a nice, nice bead of material here um, where. I'd put the put the solvent on, let it sit for a minute, and then squeeze them together. So that that splurge line, um, I know a joiner once said to me, and it like uh, it, um, it was Northern. Um, I think it's actually a tune. It um, you know you only put enough enough glue on when it pisses outside, is it? Or something like that, I suppose. But um, that's that's okay. It's not going to be strong enough as it is. Uh, last thing you want is this. Uh, this bond line separating and uh, and a edge edge going wild as we've got this thing strapped to our belt. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a strap or two along around the outside, top and bottom, and then uh, then work on a belt loop. See what happens. So uh, I knocked up a little little belt loop. It's just a, a really really simple uh, experimental sheath to start with, just to see the the capabilities of this this ABS. Um, I'm quite happy with it. You know, it looks. Uh, I know it's basic. It's not not meant to be anything flash, but it's um, it lacks lacks any sort sort of uh, mechanism to hold the hold the blade in. It'd be really easy to just put a tab. On this on this lower piece, um, unfortunately, I trimmed it. I got a little bit uh, carried away on the bandsaw and trimmed it all so it, you know the knife fit in nicely. But um, if I wanted to, I could just just put a little tab that came up behind behind the um, the back of the blade there. So I just press it down on my thumb and pull the blade out. And uh, if it was if it's angled, you'd be able to slide the um, slide the blade back in and it click uh, you know back into place. So this is this is very promising. Um, the uh, the plastic's bonded incredibly well. Um, I was expecting a good bond, but I don't think I was expecting quite such a good bond as this. So it had been my original intention to to strap this. Um, you know, after I abandoned the first idea, I can't see where the original. No, that's disappeared completely. Um, I was going to run a strap around the outside just for, for added strength, but uh, this this feels right now like it's it's. Um, is going to be tough enough to, to keep this blade safe um, just as it is and that would make me really happy because it's just three bits of plastic that um, if I was if I was serious about making any number of these I could make a steel mold and uh, put put my plastic in the in the oven under the grill or something you know suspend it there and then you know much much like a vacuum former and then uh, lay it on top of my steel mold and press it down you know before it's got a chance to go cold maybe even put part of the steel mold in the oven too if you follow my drift so it doesn't uh, cool the plastic too quickly um, uh, so yeah the, the question is really whether this whether this um, experimental sheath is going to be tough enough so unfortunately this is another time where, um, for the for the sakes of um, R and D, I've got to destroy this this sheath that I just made. So bear with me, and we'll, um, I think what I really want to do is it, is test its ability to contain any sort of bursting load or um, 
uh, side load if, if this is on your on your belt and the the handle of the knife gets gets taken in one direction so I want to see how good these are uh, these bonds are basically I think what I'm going to do is put a wedge put a wedge down here and see how much deformation I get in the plastic versus whether or not the bond line just pop let's go all of a sudden um, see what happens Okay, it's the, the, the worst bit of it. Um, you're you're going to attempt to destroy this, uh, this sheath now. Um, bit of a shame, but it's in the name of science. I've just got a wedge in there at the minute, and um, I want to see if I can pop these, these bond lines. It's good. It is starting to go. Is it starting to go? I don't think it is starting to go actually. Look. So you've got a nice, uh, nice bit of deformation. It's, it's opening up. Um, got to get that wedge out, and we'll stick, we'll stick two in there at the same time. Won't be, won't be gentle about this. There's no point. We want it to break. We want to see how much, how much we can push this ABS before it does break. It's, uh, it's maintained the deformation slightly, not drastically. I think the, the blade will still fit. Yep, it's probably uh, probably probably have to watch how I hold this whilst I'm putting the blade in, seeing as though my my intention is to actually fuck it up. Um, as you'll see, so and the two edges. Hold up the first one a little bit. Oh, it's still not gone. That's uh, that's impressive. It, it is now starting to go. You can just. Uh, just see uh, starting to separate there but the, the really important thing is it hasn't gone pop you know like it hasn't, it hasn't let go in a hurry you know that's uh it's only gone on one side I'd, I'd suggest that this side wasn't as well bonded to the other side uh strangely the the belt loop is is pulling apart but the thing is this is a this is a chemical bond like rather than a mechanical bond if i'd used epoxy that would be a mechanical bond that would be you know the epoxy grabbing hold of the, the the you know micro crevices in the surface and holding it together like that but this being a chemical bond has actually fused the uh the two surfaces um uh this is this is good this is good let's try let's try and stick those bits in a little way get the oh this is folded the wedge over and i hammered it hard against the end there all those okay so three wedges one two and a numero three okay it's gone it's gone this again still not the whole way it's peeled and areas areas there I can see that uh, the bond wasn't all the way across the plastic I'm happy with this I think I think if I was able to get these parts better fitting to begin with that would be a, a near enough indestructible bond it would be it would be as strong as having continuous plastic um, I'm just gonna try and try and pull this pull this belt loop off okay that's bad. All right, it's it's gone. I had a very tight, uh, tight bend here on the the inner side of the belt loop, and that's that's fractured. So is the outside. That belt loop, say, a weak area. That's that's not good. Hmm. Interesting. This is not an anticipated problem. The uh, problem obviously is the corners, the bent corners, as opposed to the the bond. Um, well, that's where it's going. Yeah. Okay, all right, great. So, um, fantastic. This is uh, achieved achieved some things, but highlighted other areas of concern, namely that belt loop and the uh, the fragileness of um, the plastic. It was only bent in two dimensions. So, but basically, I think if I was able to create a three dimensional no, really? No, I'm gonna to have to think about this. But either way, success. 98% uh, success, 
because I've achieved something that's better looking than what I thought and uh, um, stronger and probably easier to produce so this is good alright stay tuned cheers like and subscribe and all the rest thank you very much guys bye